Good morning, everybody. Joe Bernstein here on a beautiful winter morning. I'm about to actually go out and get my beard trimmed. But before I do, I wanted to drop a little message about uh, wisdom that I gained from having a beard and how it relates to our lives and creating the lives that we want. So what I've experienced this past weekend, I was on this men's weekend in a leadership role, or I should probably say learning to be better in leadership roles. And men love my beard. I mean, they, they constantly come up to me. I probably heard a dozen times over this weekend, dude, great beard. I love your beard, right? And I love my beard too. But meanwhile, I know I'm about four or five days overdue for a trim. Hence me going right after I get off this Facebook Live. So inside of my head, they're looking at what looks great, something they'd love to have, something they're jealous of. And to me, I'm going, yeah, but you know what? It's grown past the point with which it actually is in service to what I want for my style, to what I want for my look, to what I feel good and confident about. And where this relates to the work that I do in the world and it relates to my life in the times is that sometimes things look really good to everyone else around us on the outside. Maybe they look better than we thought we'd ever have. I never thought I'd have such a cool looking beard as it does right now. But there's a part of us that isn't really satisfied anymore. It's outgrown us or we've outgrown it. Now, when I say it, I'm talking about things in our life, like the style of communication that we have, our relationships, they're no longer working or they're downright ready to, ready to move on. Sometimes the business that we own that's really successful or the position that we're in that looks great to others. You can have the beautiful wife and the kids and the picket fence and the high powered job and the great income. And there can be parts of it that you've outgrown or that have outgrown you. But we have these huge layers of resistance. We think that we can't necessarily change or we shouldn't change. We think things like, well, what if I take the risk and I fail and it's not as good? Or who am I to think I deserve better? Or what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me for wanting more? What's wrong with me that I'm not happy with this current state of life that it's in, with this current business, with this current relationship, with my current health? It's pretty good. Most people would love it. What's wrong with me for wanting more or wanting something different? And I can relate because I've been through that consistently. I've been through that in my old career. I've been through that in my past marriage. I've been through that in the last relationship I was in. To many people, what I've had looks amazing but it doesn't fit me anymore and it's not serving me. So unlike a beard where I just say, well, it's time for me to get a trim, I've resisted that change at times. I've taken really long to go and create the change that I know will be good for me because it's scary. What if I take the risk and fail? Who am I to think I deserve better? And what's wrong with me for not appreciating or enjoying what I have now? These are the voices of fear, of limitation that have held me back in the past. And what I want to challenge you to do is when you're hearing those things, is to simply tell yourself, I've outgrown this or it's outgrown me and it's time for a trim. We don't say there's something wrong with us when our beard is too long or our hair is too long or we need new clothes, right? Or we need a new car. We just go and get what's new. We just go and create the next step and the next level of what we need, whether it be our clothing or our beard trim or we need to go see a doctor so what needs trimming in your life? And just for today, if you could look at that thing and not think what's wrong with me or what if I fail, if you just think it's time for a trim, it's time for a small change and I'm going to go out and I'm going to do what's needed. It doesn't mean that my life's broken. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with me. I deserve what I want and I'm just going to get a trim. So if it's time for you to get a trim, obviously you can always reach out to me. I'm here for you, and I hope this is helpful. If this gives you any insight, any wisdom, drop a comment below because I'm really looking to improve my content. I'm really looking to improve the way I serve and the messages that I deliver. So that's what I want to know. I want to know if this is helpful to you in any way. Leave a comment and tell me what you enjoyed or what benefited you. That's what I got. I'm going to get this thing trimmed up. Next time you see me, it's going to be a little tighter. Anyway, peace.